This is Twit. Dragos, the threat detection and response platform, is something new because Dragos has announced a partnership with the Department of Energy to develop Neighborhood Keeper. Together with Ameren, First Energy, the Idaho National Laboratory, NERC's EISAC, and Southern Company, which is a huge uh, utility, electric utility in the southeast, Dragos will begin to research and develop novel methods to make ICS threat analytics and data accessibility accessible to smaller infrastructure providers like co-ops and municipality providers. Basically, what they're trying to do is take the kind of analytics and threat detection that the very large companies, the very large critical infrastructure companies can use and make them available to the smaller utilities. Goal of Neighborhood Keeper, they say, is to develop a zero trust and non-privacy invasive way of sharing threat insights from ICS and operations technology networks in near real time. The platform will be deployed at near cost. That means only eye-watering expensive and not something that's jaw-dropping to the smaller infrastructure providers who often, they say, don't have the resources for advanced technology. So, Chibert, I, I want to turn to you because I know you have done some significant work with the electric utilities there in Hawaii. What kind of threat analysis do you think that these smaller utilities would like to have um, if it doesn't cost a king's ransom? Well, I think a lot of the problems with small utilities is they um, they don't they're 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 very heavy on power engineers and a lot of the small companies haven't made the shift to trying to integrate um, kind of a crossover, let's say a melding between the IT world and power engineers. So I'm starting to see a little bit of that at the Hawaii Natural Energy Institute and seeing the two cultures clash. But I'm also starting to see a new generation that are more interested. So instead of having this old attitude of everything has to be isolated, um, we're starting to see more and more integration of smart meters, smart switches, uh, smart earth transformers, more intelligent substations. But what we need to do is a lot of these smaller groups need to start integrating in security right from the get-go instead of just, oh, it's really cool, let's go and see what the new vendor has. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what these guys do um, with Neighborhood Keeper because I'd like to see uh, a lot more attention of security towards the edge instead of just at the core, uh, which has been very traditional in a lot of um, power engineer mentality. You know, I don't necessarily say it's the wrong thing to do, but I think what we need to do is uh, take a lot of look at designing in the security. Maybe even do what uh, I'm starting to see some, of, um, some things happening with uh, computer science programs actually working on the Internet of Things for smart meters and to go and help build the power models. Because without good power models, a lot of energy doesn't happen. And as we start getting further into the edges, uh, we're going to need to protect the integrity of those models. So Neighborhood Keeper looks like a keeper. You know, realistically, and I love the fact that the Department of Energy is getting so involved and things like, you know, the National Lab infrastructure to try and leverage a lot of this information, a lot of this knowledge and a lot, basically a lot of the useful ideas that are coming out that could go a long, long way to protecting our national infrastructure. Well, I think that protecting the national infrastructure is critical. And one of the key aspects of this are the analytics that they're promising to use. Now, Brian McHenry, Bam, I want to talk to you because it seems to me that these analytics could be a truly critical piece. How complex do you see the analytics piece of something like this being? Are they going to have to go way out on a limb with the analytics or is this pretty run-of-the-mill stuff that's just being applied to a new area. So 
the first thing you have to consider is the source here. Uh, Robert M. Lee, who's the CEO over there at Dragos, he's also a national cybersecurity fellow. He's a policy guy, but he also comes from the NSA and has a background in ICS and SCADA. So this is a very well-respected individual who really understands the problem space. Um, and, and somebody that I've happened to follow on Twitter and, and seen him talk at conferences as well. And if if Robert's out there saying, this stuff works and it's going to provide value, I tend to believe him. Um, although underneath all of this, there's got to be some probably pretty significant machine learning. They've probably uh, got a lot of traffic data samples in order to be able to detect anomalies and really uh, provide valuable okay. analytics uh, that that really aid in threat hunting on, on this critical infrastructure type of networks. Um, I, th I think, you know, to echo what, what she had to say was, Threat hunting in general, not just in, in the energy industry, but in general is really a, a nascent practice in most organizations, uh, even in large enterprises. They're just starting to get their arms around what does it mean to have a threat hunting team? You know, Do we even have the capacity to add that in addition to even a traditional SOC if they happen to have a security operations center? So, But I do think it's a critical practice. But if what they're promising here is really something that's easy to use that plugs right in and, and provides you value uh, right up front and helps you detect these sorts of anomalies and, and detect where something might be going wrong or something might be getting compromised, that's a, a, a really encouraging sign and something that I really think we should be pressing on as an industry because uh, we're pretty sure that most things are in some state of compromise uh, and and we've got to get better at hunting them down and finding them and not being reactive to what we know attacks look like.